Hey again, everybody. So Steve Maxwell Jr. here at Maxwell Drums, and I'm in the machine room slash picture room of our studio, Coward Music. We got a 16-track Tascam MS-16, which is really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, 16 mics, kind of in a, uh, recorded in verb, like I would do a rock drum set. And uh, it's going to be, you know, you got the Tom's mic, you got everything mic'd. Burying the needles a little bit. If you look at the video meters down here, everything's set. Not too much, but a little bit. I want to get a nice clean recording. But yeah, so this is, uh, this is really fun. Wait till you see the kit. So this is the Gretsch kit, and I uh, just wanted to show everybody all the mics we have. We don't usually use this many. Um, this is a Gretsch 20, 12, 14, 16 with then a, a chrome plated snare, metal snare drum. And uh, this is just a really fun video with like a rock miking, which I don't usually do. But you can see all the toms are mic'd on the top. And then you got the snare drum, SM57 on the top and the bottom. And then this is the, the crotch mic here, as people call it. It's uh, AKG414. And that's, that's a really commonly used location. Sometimes it's a little closer in, a little higher up maybe, but I put it right there so as not to get in anybody's way. I've got the dangling mic in the front. Uh, of the bass drum, or maybe the back, depending on your angle. Uh, that's to get some attack. And then all these big low drums uh, have the resonant head mic'd as well. And then you can see this, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a sure on those two, and then it's an Audix. Uh, then this guy is, uh, this is a sp specific style of miking that people use a lot one in the back and to the left, and then one kind of right above the middle that are just about the same distance. Uh, small diaphragm, sure condenser, and that's a Mojave tube mic, uh, which is very, very cool. And then here you got your uh, AEA ribbon mic, and then of course you got the room mics, and uh, that is about it. So that's 16 microphones on a drum set, and, and usually we do seven which is still kind of a lot. You can do a drum set with two maybe. <laughs> just put one on the, that bass drum mic and that sure sounds great. Just, but but uh, this is just for fun. And yeah, I have the 16 track right now. So it's uh, on the tape machine. And then, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the, this is, uh, this is our, our miking. I think I got just about everything, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, we've got uh, 16 mics here. These are all coming from the live room. And then um, uh, we've got, Patch over here, uh, auxiliary and group, sending them to the machine, one through 16, and then all returns are right here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put them through some outboard gear later, so that'll be really cool. And then, um, yeah, you know, I think I can probably pass you off to, to Noah. <laughs>
Hey again, so that was Noah off the tape, really amazing stuff. And this is the machine. And so I'm just gonna quickly go through uh, what, what we're all doing here. This is like the machine room slash photograph room. You can see this beautiful Craviato kit behind me. And uh, yeah, so this is my awesome analog setup. I got a four track, a one track, it's actually a one track. And I also have a 16 track here. And uh, yeah, let's hit play. So you can hear him playing and everything's coming through the board. 16 tracks, this is 16 microphones on a drum set, which is a lot of microphones. We did this pretty quickly, but I think it came out really nice. Rock tuning. Um, this is the patch bay. I've got IOs that are all going into this patch bay. So just have a bunch of these drums going to compressors and some gates. And I almost forgot to turn this one on. And this one. I, I'm even using a sonic maximizer for the toms. Just the toms are going through it. And then I'm using this warm audio. I really love this thing. Not a huge amount of compression, actually. A lot of it's four to one. So yeah, you can see here, you're listening to like the live bounce coming through. So I'm just gonna do all the different mics. So I've got like parallel compression on these two. That's like the crotch mic, the one that's right in between the AKG. And then this is snare top and bottom. And then here you got some toms. He's that when he's not playing him, you can't hear him obviously. It's all set up for that. And then, uh, yeah, see if we can wait here. That's that AKG mic again. I'll bring back both the AKGs. That's a room mic, that's our room mic, which has, a lot of these actually have nothing done to them pretty much. And then uh, we just have one room mic in this mix. That's the, let me turn all these guys off. Just, this is just the ribbon mic. Just the left, right ribbon mic. Probably my favorite mic that we have. So that, that's a big part of this. There's your, your, your bass drum mic. And I even have a front bass drum mic and a back bass drum mic, which I never do. I dangled the little microphone, which is a cool thing that, but yeah, then back to the full mix, bring everything back here. And that's it. So yeah, lots of fun, lots of fun. And uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. So leave it, so let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching everybody.